Welcome to the next phase of the introduction to data science for the built environment at X course. So far, we have covered many of the data science techniques related to cleaning, visualizing, and merging data sets. In this set of videos, I will introduce simple machine learning methods, a more advanced topic that is a key part of data science. I'm sure you've heard a lot of data science buzzwords, which might be why you've taken this course in the first place. The terms machine learning, big data, and artificial intelligence are all used a lot in the news and in popular culture. In the next few slides, I'll try to simplify the foundation for these concepts and discuss them in the context of the building industry. There's a book that is a good resource for the discussion of how to simplify these concepts. This book is called Prediction Machines, and it was written by three professors from the University of Toronto. I recommend this book as a high-level understanding of how machine learning is changing various domains. This book provides a foundation for our discussion of what prediction can do in our industry. A key lesson from this book is that the growth of machine learning tools and skills has resulted in the ability for computers to produce high-quality predictions faster, cheaper, and more easily than ever before. Good predictions simply mean that the accuracy of knowing what will happen in the future is high based on past observations. However, prediction alone is not magic. A key aspect of most processes is also judgment, which is a totally different concept. To understand the difference, let's look at this diagram which describes our current relationship with computers. Most of the time we ingest information from computers that we might use to predict what will happen based on our past experience. We then make decisions based on that future vision. In the built environment, these decisions are things like how much budget and time it will take to design an upcoming project based on the owner's requirements and our past experience. The major innovation with machine learning is that computers are now better able to take large amounts of data to make predictions about a future outcome. They're actually a lot better than humans at predicting what will happen as they have access to more data and the ability to process it. Going back to our previous example, machine learning models could predict budget and timeline based on all the projects in a design firm, not just the individual ones that you have worked on. There are numerous applications of machine learning in the built environment that can leverage large data sets to predict future situations. Machine learning can be done to choose which design features of a new building should have to optimize client satisfaction and revenue. It can be used to predict when various building components will fail, which enables preventative maintenance that can be used to delay that failure. And finally, prediction can be used to understand which conditions will likely make people comfortable. Judgments in all of these scenarios are currently mostly based on the experience of the designer or operator themselves. However, in the future, larger data sets from previous projects across a firm or even the entire industry could be used to make these decisions.